Ah, uh, Greensboro, city of dreams. Yeah. That's, that's definitely you guys, not the other place I said that last week. So. Good stuff. No, um, I'm from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, so uh, I won't talk any shit on your city, so <laughs> it's all good. Uh, no, a bit about me. I moved here to the U.S. in uh, 2001. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a great year to come to the United States, honestly. Yeah, good stuff. Great thinking, Mom. Good hindsight. Uh, yeah. Like, we came here in April, and I was like, this is the best country in the world. <laughs> then a few months later, I was like, I'm gonna have a bad childhood. This is, uh, gonna, uh, my character will go through some, you know, I was like, I'm not one to speculate, but there is some bullying headed my way. Um, and then George Bush got reelected, and I was like, there was more bullying. <laughs> I was like, war on terror, talk about these swirlies, that's the war on terror. <laughs> I kid, I kid, you know. The Taliban's real, they're back. Um, anyway, uh, no, don't worry. That's the, that's the end of the hack stuff, so we can go to the other. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, but, uh, whew. all right, childhood's got done. Next joke. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just like, you know, we're a new minority. Like, I'm, you know, Persian guy. There's not a lot of us here. You know, like, no one knows who we are. Like, I always get mistaken for Indian, which, uh, you know, like, it kind of hurts my feelings. Like, <laughs> not that I have anything against Indian people. It's just, I know on the totem pole of racism, I should be above them, right? Like, that's not, <laughs> like, I'm trying to get my ass kicked less, like, not more, like, I'm trying to go up to Greek or something, to Italian, <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> you guys don't get it. I want to be white so bad, and, <laughs> You will not let me in the club. <laughs> I don't get it. I check every box. I listen to Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> what the fuck do I have to do to get in? I don't get like I don't. It's sad, sad. Uh, I go on dates with white women. I catch them drifting off to like tables with fully white couples. I'm like, am I not good enough for you? We can say the N word. We can do it. I can be the guy. <laughs> <We> can... <sighs> yeah, suck. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of us here. We're a new minority. It kind of sucks. It's like in America, you have to prove yourself. If you want to be part of the melting pot, you got to like put your application in, got to prove yourself, you know. Like Italians, they got their asses kicked forever and they just invented pizza and they was like, all right, you're white. Like that was kind of nice. I don't know. We just keep getting like pushed back down. Like we had hummus. I thought that would work. But, like, yeah, I guess hummus is not enough to stop hate crimes. That's like, all right, we... Look, this is a nice pita chip, but I will still kick your ass after this. This is, you know, uh, thank you. But yeah, um, I don't know, it sucks. There's also not enough of us. Like, I, I always think of like shit I can't do because there's not enough of us in America. Like, I can't go to prison. Like, there's no table. I don't know what I would do. I don't know where I would sit. I would just sit at the sex offender table. I'm like, I'm not even a sex offender. I'm just literally not enough of us. Even though Persian guys are kind of sex offenders, but you know, I'm not one of the... I don't wear enough cologne, as you can smell. And I don't have a silk shirt, but... Uh, on my Wednesday show, then I'm going full on. But, uh, you know... Um, yeah, but it's just, I don't know, like in prison, I would have to like audition to be Mexican. It'd be so awkward. Just be like, hello, essays. May I, uh, may I put my culo on this asiento? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd audition for you guys. It just, it's like a really weird racial, like, American Idol. Like, listen, uh, Julio, uh, you know, it's either you guys or the Aryan Brotherhood, and they hated my audition, so that was not a good time. <laughs> Even though we are kind of the original Aryans. Like, I'm literally from the Caucasus. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, sucks. It's me, two elderly Asians, rabbi at our table. We'd have a good table. We'd be like the mean girls of prison. It'd be nice. <laughs> but yeah, good stuff. Anyway, who owns a gun? Who's a gun owning in here? This is the South, right? Or what do you got? You guys are kind of the South. You fought for the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want a gun, but it's like, I can't, like, I've spent my whole life being like an anti-gun liberal. Like, it's a weird time to start. Because it was just like, it's, it's just like, I don't like guns, but every time I turn on the TV, there's like, we're like four headlines away from like eating people. It's, it's, I'm like, all right, 
I guess you gotta get it, you know. But like, it's just like, I just can't walk into a gun store, because I live in Utah. Like, you walk into a gun store, there's like r pictures of Ronald Reagan. There's like fucking, there's like targets, shooting targets of Middle Eastern people. And I'm like, that's me. That's my, that's my, that's my Facebook page. That's my phone. Uh, like, what the fuck? How did you get get on there? We're not even friends, you know. Then, uh, you know, I can't just walk in there and be like, "Fellas, who's gonna give me a gun?" Like, like, oh, hey, who wants to give old Arash a gun, huh? Uh, yeah, it's for shooting um, Antifa or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not because like we chose the wrong store, like leftists. We chose bookstores. I don't know why we did that. Good idea. And then right wing people chose gun store, like. Yeah, we did a leftist gun store. We did like a nice little gun store in like the back of a Barnes and Noble somewhere. <laughs> That'd be nice. And there's like kind of like a nice, friendly, like bisexual, like um, psychology major. You know, <laughs> You're like hey, Lucas, I want the usual. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, AR-15 and a latte. And you're like, oh, you know me. <laughs> I'm always, you know. And I'm like, who is this? The shins? It's like, oh, you're rash. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, just a thought. So, arm yourselves. But, uh, all right, I'll leave you guys with this one. Uh, you know, we, they still have that Statue of Liberty, which is kind of weird, because uh, we have ice, so you can't have both. It's kind of weird. Got to update it. I think we should just update the statue. I think if you want to keep the Statue of Liberty, you got to update it. You make it like, a, I think, I, I like basketball. I think it should be like animatronic Dikembe Matumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Or is this like going like this? It's just like boats of, like boats of immigrants are coming. It's just like nothing in my house. <laughs> <It's just> like <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, Dikembe says, back to Honduras. And you're like, yeah. You know, I talked to him, he endorses it. So it's all good. Anyway, have a good night, guys. Thank you. All right, Suzuki, everyone.